morning everybody. So we are heading out of Patagonia from our boondocking spot here and we are on our way to Tucson. We've got everything packed up and I was just um, trying to figure out what we were going to do for the day and we've got a few things we've got to fix. So the first one um, we need to work on is our water pump. It's making like a, like a, I don't know, a rather like loud noise and um, it's like not quite getting up to pressure like it usually does. We found that it's leaking um, and there's like, I think there's just a piece we've got to replace. So we got to figure out where to get that. If we need to mail it, we need to like order it and get that worked out. So we're going to do that today. A couple other little maintenance and just like cleaning stuff around the RV because everything is so sandy from staying in our boondocking spot in Patagonia. It's just like all the sand everywhere. So we need to get that worked out. And also, I tried to mail some stuff um, to an Amazon locker. I've got this faucet that I wanted to get delivered to an Amazon locker and they're having a hard time delivering it apparently. So I need to contact them and figure it out. So that's what's on the docket today. We'd like to fit in a mountain bike ride in Tucson if we can, but we'll just have to see. Um, we're going to an RV park so we can recharge, refuel, dump tanks and everything. And also there's a hot tub and Sam and Brendan are gonna meet us there. So yeah, we're heading to the Prince of Tucson and hopefully it's a lovely stay. All right, so we made it to our RV park, the Prince of Tucson. We got an overflow site, and their overflow sites are kind of weird. Um, they just have this, like along the fence, right here, they have a bunch of sites. And it's basically just like a parallel park. Um, but they have electric and water for the overflow sites, which is nice, but we're only staying here because they have a hot tub. We looked for every like we looked at every RV park in Tucson and the ones with hot tubs are all 55 and up, except for this one, at least uh, what we could find. Today's definitely gonna be a cleaning day and hopefully we get a lot of stuff done. <laughs> this site is super unlevel. Um, I had to end up putting five blocks on uh, the right side of the RV to try and get it level. Our tire is up, uh, lifted off the ground by just a few inches. Uh, some people say that's really bad. Some people say it's not a big deal. I don't know. We've always been okay with having the tire, the, at least the front axle. We've always been okay with having the front axle off the ground by, you know, a few inches. Uh, we've never had any issues. Um, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but on our back axle, for our back jacks, I have five blocks. I have five blocks and two of them got pushed into the gravel. Um, so. But, whatever. I managed to actually get it very, very level. Uh, it was level front to back, but left to right it was not level at all. Sometimes keeping the RV clean can be a pain in the butt, especially with two dogs and especially when we're boondocking. Uh, for example, we were boondocking for a week in Patagonia and for three or four days straight it just rained and rained and rained 
and the area we were at was very sandy and it all just turned to mud and now there's just sand and mud and dirt everywhere even in our bed it's sometimes it gets kind of disgusting and we do our best to stay on top of it but uh every now and again we just have to do a really deep clean so we're going to try and get this place spotless i know we've mentioned it before but we absolutely love our uh, Dyson vacuum. It's the uh, Dyson rechargeable uh, cordless handheld like animal edition. Uh, it's the purple one. Then we got it on sale on Black Friday at Costco and we, it was like $200 off. It was awesome. But uh, we love this thing and it does such a great job at keeping our RV clean. Another thing we really love that helps us keep the RV clean is this rug. Um, we just set it right uh, in front of our stairs, right in our entryway, and it catches most of the stuff that the dogs bring in, but um, obviously when it's really dirty out, stuff still gets in, and sometimes they hop right over it, so that doesn't really work, but uh, it's like this microfiber uh, material, but this thing is great. You can like take two steps on this with muddy shoes, and it, it just like grabs all of the dirt. Um, it's pretty awesome. We'll try and include a, include a link below. This thing is a lifesaver. The other tool that we use a lot is a Swiffer. It's just a basic uh, Swiffer, nothing fancy. It's not a wet jet. You just, uh, you take these pads here uh, and you just attach them to the head and then you just kind of, you know, mop like usual. Our Dyson vacuum came with a lot of really awesome attachments, but the one we use the most and the one we uh, really like by far is this upholstery. Uh, head I don't really know what it's like an upholstery brush and it gets all of the dog hair off of like any surface it is amazing we actually just have a uh, an old futon um, probably from Target or something and then this is just a uh, like drop cloth canvas material and we just draped that over the couch it looks pretty good and it also keeps pretty clean but we use the uh, we use this brush on that as well we also use Clorox wipes a lot. Um, this is just Walmart brand. But obviously, we use those all the time. We wipe down all of our surfaces with those. But what's really nice is when we renovated the RV, we used a uh, semi-gloss paint and uh, all of our smudges just uh, kind of wipe off. So if you're gonna paint your RV, I would highly recommend the uh, semi-gloss paint. Something else that's sort of a pain about uh, living and cleaning an RV is the fan vent. Uh, it's right above the stove, um, and then you know you're supposed to use it whenever you're cooking. And because of that, the grease gets on there, and because of the grease, uh, it gets super dusty, and it gets really gross. Um, and you can't just wipe it off because the grease just is so sticky. So every now and again, we have to uh, take it down, and then we have to soak it. We have found that the best way to clean it is to just soak it with uh, some soap. We've used True Green, True Green before, um, or just dish soap I think works pretty good. After a nice little soak and a little bit of scrubbing, the screen is nice and clean. We also used to have uh, trouble with our shower drain plugging and um, that was a big issue. So we went out and bought, or Lindsay did, went out and found one of these guys. Um, but it works uh, quite well. It just kind of sits right over top of the drain and it catches all the hair. So that's that's really handy and makes it so we don't have to uh, snake our drain or anything. Um, I feel like one of the pros of clean, cleaning an RV is that since it's so small, it's it's really easy to, um, to clean it. I mean, if we just do a quick clean, it probably takes like 30 minutes where normally in a house it'd take, you know, a few hours on a Saturday or Sunday but we can pretty much knock out a standard clean in 30 minutes. And then like today, we can do like a spring clean, like a deep spring clean, like wipe down all the walls, the ceilings, the floors, like just everything in just a few hours, really. Yeah. Um, so that's really nice. But one of the cons is that because when we're like when we're boondocking and because of the dogs and you're coming in and out and it's such a small space, it gets dirty really quick. I get dirty really fast. And when it gets dirty, it, it really... I can really get dirty, especially when you're out in the desert and you have the windows open and there's dust flying around. Um, so yeah, but the RV is nice and clean now. Uh, we're going to go switch the laundry into the dryer 
and then we're going to head to Lowe's and maybe price out some things for some projects we got in the works. We're thinking about uh, we're switching out our sinks and our faucets and uh, our blinds over the windows aren't doing so hot anymore and we're having some troubles with um, our water pump, but we'll talk more about that later. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to go do those things and then I think we're going to wrap up our evening uh, chilling in the hot tub and eating some pizza with uh, Sam and Brendan. Thanks for living life with us today and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.